In today's video, the first ever world footage of Outlaws of Thunder Junction, the latest set in Magic the Gathering. Thanks to Wizards for hosting the early access event. I truly appreciate it. Today, I will be showcasing one of my favorite decks from the new set, allowing you to determine whether or not it's worth your wild cards. Breaking down in depth the deck list, discussing the strategies and synergies held within in hopes of providing you a deeper understanding of how to pilot this deck, both effectively and efficiently. Furthermore, demonstrating against the best players in the world, content creators, world championship and pro two players, you name it, we've got it here for you today. Thank you to all of our competitors within today's video as well. I truly, truly appreciate it. Finally, we're going to wrap up with our concluding thoughts, deck review, and channel news. If you want to help out, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. Just leave a like. Boop, boop, a little thumbs up goes a long way. Again, I truly appreciate it. And of course, you can comment down below if you have any concerns throughout today's video. And uh, subscribe to the channel for future content. I made 16 decks for this event. So we're going to be rolling out as many as possible. And of course, join the community Discord. Come make some new friends. We'd love to have you. Kick back, relax, enjoy today's video. Let's get after it. It's a new lap record. Here we are with Naya Fartifacts, my first deck within Outlaws of Thunder Junction. This is a 2.1 average mana value on 24 land with 27 creatures and only nine non-creatures. Uh, building around some of the new cards within Outlaws of Thunder Junction and more specifically the big set that it has, which is all mythics rest in peace wild card collection and uh you know doing our best to really determine whether or not these mythic cards are going to be worth it okay and from my first glance sadly i'm gonna say yes oh oh no <laughs> there's four of each uh but it's okay once you start playing with this deck and see me playing with it today first and foremost uh you'll understand why these cards are mythic and uh probably worth having okay so first and foremost building around all tech matter weaver this is a three mana two four whenever you cast a creature spell choose one create a one one colorless gnome artifact creature token or create a token that's a copy of an artifact token you control okay so that's pretty cool it's a non-legendary that can stack and what would be cooler than just making copies of itself, okay? It's not a, an artifact, but with the Molten Duplication for two mana at sorcery speed, we can make it an artifact. Create a token that's a copy of target artifact or creature you control, except in addition uh, to its other types, it will be an artifact as well. It's going to gain haste until the end of turn and you'll sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. All right, so uh, it can become a copy of Ultek. Now you have two Ulteks in play, all you need to do at this point is to play a creature to trigger the two Ultex. They can both copy the artifact token copy of the two, which is great. And then you're going to have four or five and it just will compound uh, and snowball from that. But wait, there's more. We're going to throw in the Mirror of the Wilds within the mix. Three mana, three, three with haste. Non-token creatures you control can tap to create... Uh, a copy of a target token that entered the battlefield this turn. So now all of our other creatures, Matter Weaver included, can make copies of preferably the Matter Weaver, uh, even more so, which is just ridiculous. Like this is definitely getting out of control. I cannot wait to show you the deck. Uh, aside from that, though, you know, we've got some other goodies in the build. Uh, the Sandstorm Salvager for three is a 1-1. One, one. When it enters the battlefield, create a 3-3 three, three Golem. And this is a nice alternative, right? Because you don't always have old tech, but this is still going to help you generate quite a bit of value within your match. Furthermore, we can pay two to tap it, putting a plus one, plus one counter on each token that we control. And they're going to gain Trample until the end of turn, which just works beautifully in the deck, helping us get a nice, healthy, lethal strike in. And then the generous plunderer for two mana as a two two with menace at the beginning of your upkeep you may create a treasure token this is great we have a three color deck it's nice to fix our mana base with those treasures and whenever you create a treasure token your opponent uh will also create a tapped treasure token so uh, they're unable to tap it to sacrifice it that turn which is great because uh 
the plunderer can attack. And if those treasures are tapped, they can't be sacrificed. And there's the damage conversion. It's a lawn legendary that you can't stack. And you can copy a bunch of in the similar fashion as we're doing with the rest of our creatures here. If they have an artifact deck, right? And then you can just deal a bunch of damage this way. That's no problem. Aside from that, we will be, uh, you know, including a new land in the deck, the Vault. You can pay three, tap it, discard a card, look at the top X cards of your library, where X is the number of artifacts that you control. Put one into hand and the rest in the bottom in random. You know, it's just nice in case you top deck a land. Get out of here, give me something good, and let's continue playing, right? Okay, so, um, copy of tokens that enter the battlefield this turn. This can actually be treasures as well, not just, um the gnomes, the golems, and hopefully copies of our creatures, but can also help us ramp through the treasures. Really easy to do. Treasure enters play. You copy it a bunch. Now you've got a ton of treasures um, and can ramp out really successfully there. All of the tokens that we're playing today can be doubled with Mondrak, Glorious Dominus. Uh, four mana, four, four. If one or more tokens would be created under your control, create twice that many tokens. Pay three, sacrifice two. It gains indestructible. We're going to be sacrificing the uh, duplication tokens that self-sacrifice, and then we're not losing any um, advantage on our board state, which is great here. We have additional protection in the deck through the might. It taps for one Phyrexian white. Choosing a color, another target creature is going to gain Toxic 1 and Hexproof from that color, which is great, and also be unblockable from that color, which is nice. Uh, late game evasion as well. The Wormlet uh, is in here. It's going to gain Death Touch when we have three or more artifacts in play. It gets a plus one, plus one counter for the first time an artifact enters play each turn and gains one life whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your turn, which is pretty, pretty, pretty good, right? Uh, some nice life gain there for us alongside Gala Greeters. You gain two life when a creature enters play. You put a plus one, plus one counter on the Greeters or you create a tapped treasure token. We're going to be playing multiple creatures each turn, so these will all be triggering. And then there's some removal in the deck. Uh, Voltage Surge, four copies of this, three copies of Get Lost. Surge taking everything four or less. Sacrifice an artifact, four damage, creature or planeswalker. Don't, two damage, right? And then Get Lost can take creature, enchantment, or planeswalker for two at instant speed, creating the map tokens. These are artifacts which the Plunderer can take advantage of, keep in mind. Very juicy uh in-depth playline here for you to potentially take okay so that's the deck we have the empire here we have the uh, crucible of defiance here for us and who endures as our utility lands alongside the murex token generation which is nice it's also art artifacts those mites um for the vault right and then a bunch of dual lands some of which are new very pleased to have these included in the play pool uh for jezekai naya some of those color combinations really did need it. Uh, so loving the deck. I hope you enjoy. If you want to help out, like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member. Join the community Discord. And uh, yeah, let's play some magic. Thank you all so much. Three lands. Nice one, two. Uh, well, two, three, four. Tiny's in play. I'm probably going to just take that out right away, right? I like Golgari. I think it's in a good spot. I'm going to take the damage in case they have a second copy. Do we go straight to Mondrak? I kind of think we do. It's kind of greedy, but... If we can pull it off. So this is a free dig, which I like. Fourth land. Obliterator. That's good. That is good.
This is bad. Let's get this in. Make our gnome. Trigger the wormlet. No attack. We're in serious trouble if they have a fight spell. I think they do. I'm just going to highlight the Matter Weaver for them so they understand priority. Philippe is a great player. I'm sure they do. Fight spell is going to get us, though. What we could have done potentially is hold up. The damage spell. And then killed our own creature that they were going to fight. So we're going to keep creating creatures, I think. I should play Mondrak, but we're taking it easy. Just gaining that life back. While simultaneously holding up the right to dunk on our own creature dodging a fight spell. Tiny Bones is back. Create some treasures. They're going to love that. More creatures, double tokens active. Do we get in there? I mean, we can easily sacrifice. I worry that they have a protection spell. But then again, we could just dunk on our own creature. No attack and turn. Mondrak can grab indestructible. Oh, nice. This is an instant speed spell. Um, they're casting it at sorcery speed. All right. This now has indestructible as well as hexproof. Very good. Just until the turn's over, right? Grab some life. Murex. You're worthless! Is this a new reach thing? Wow. Look at that. Looks like it has haste or something. That's pretty cool. Um. I kind of need a creature spell. We could Mirax. I 
And that with Mondrex pretty good. Going to Treasure Town. It's one of my favorite places to visit. Now, I guess we swing in, don't we? Sacrifice treasures. I should have done this before, because they probably just have indestructible. Oh, that's a mistake. I should have, uh, before I declared my attack. I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh well. A little oopsie whoopsie here on my behalf. I was concerned about the indestructible being on the obliterator, not on the tiny bones. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. Another spree. Nice. Okay, that's good. It's specifically in response to. Nice. That's really good. We do get it though, at least. Um, that flyer is going to hit. Um, if we do all our damage here, that'll be better, right? We're still going to die. So let's, while we have that in play, capitalize on the life gain. Let's just interrupt it as well. Now we've got Indestructible on Mondrak. I think we ended up uh, losing more this way, but whatever. <laughs> we just need um, that Molten Duplicacy. That flyer hits. I think I'm just going to swing for Lethal. It's a good thing we have so much life. Oh, wow. They could also have that other black card that just is lethal at this point, right? The Rush of the Dread. Big money. I mean, they have so much land, it doesn't matter. I'm kind of feeding their Smuggler Surprise, though, which isn't great. So they block the four, they block the two, we hit for six, 11, 15, what could they, they could have something in hand. But I think we go for it. What's that last card? They can instant speed sack these? No? Couldn't they sack those on the stack? Great game. Uh, these are free to sacrifice. Oh, you can't tap these though. They're in tapped. Oh, so that's actually what makes this card so good. I understand. I was under wound with this a little bit because i was like well they could just sack the treasures at instant speed but in fact they have to tap them because they come in tapped and they can't tap them the turn they enter play oh now it's just extra good jim davis in the house oh lord have mercy 
on the play as well. Woo! Little Rakdos. Uh, I really like the Miner. I think it's phenomenal. I'm not going to kill it right away, though. Right, we're going to probably leave it. Try to curve out. I think I need to kill this, though. Kind of sad that we take tempo off to do it, but I don't think we're, you know, really left with much of a choice. Oh, I like this card. I like this card. We got to kill that too. It's just the way of the roads, bub. Gix is good. They get a draw here. Very nice. Probably on Gix, I think, right? No? Okay. Spread out. Spread the Louvre. He's smart, too. I'm not running uh, Vladimir in my deck. You know, we have protection, which is good. Let's see if we can survive long enough. Removal in the house. If we can get wilds in play and then duplicate the matter weaver. Another Vladimir. They threw the first. Logic dictates they throw the second as well. Playing against Jim makes me nervous. My heart is just going to pop here. I'm going to get out in front. Uh, this could come back and bite us, but maybe it was a bluff for the draw. We do have the might still to protect, so it's got to be a field um, effect. Okay. Outlaws. Into another miner. Nice, nice, nice. Down to nine. That's not good. We could duplicate ourselves. That's probably better. All right, all right, all right. I got some juice. I got some juice too, Jimmy. I don't think it's going to be enough though. <laughs> <laughs> this one goes in because it self-sacrifices. Alright, we get to keep the other ones. That's cool always. Got a good field state though, right? We're uh, ooh, I need an, I need one more turn. If we can get our wilds in play, it's good. But raise a little hell, raise a little hell, raise a little hell. Nice. This is a crime. Mmm. And they're rogues. Nice. Force the attack. Menace is so good. Down to one.
sucks. If only I had more life. It's popping, but Jim is Jim. Jim gonna go get. I think they beat us here. Jim is Jim, man. I did my best, Pop. Good game, homie. This is nice damage, right? Very, very good. We get close. The deck pops. We get to see it work really nicely. The synergy's there. But damn, bro. Well, I'm sure this turns out fine. We're in slow, too. I'm gonna toss the salvager for now. Nice land. Shredder is really good with that other bird. The rod one. Probably removal with a second spell. They have three available mana after they play. Pretty aggro slash tempo based deck, I would assume. So maybe the land's not super flowing, but they're going to maybe draw for it as well. And they can connive also. Okay, Swiss Spear's active for the connive trigger. Again, probably just maybe trying to find the third land. Uh, going to a four power, uh, sorry, four toughness creatures, certainly not bad either as an option. Defending. I have a Menace, uh, so they will need to double block, which would be bad for the Swift Spear, but also bad for me. Take out their blocker. And for one from the treasure. Sequence. Prowess trigger takes us out. Draws. Uh, no, doesn't draw because it wasn't a second spell. I'm going to try to take this now. There's no prowess trigger from the treasure. If there was, they would be forced to sacrifice it, being held back on land. That's why we decide to take it. Another shredder. Another swift spear. Connive trigger.
Nice. Really nice. They have the connive. That's fine. It's worth it for us. No attack. Prioritizing 1-1 one, one golems over the plus 1 counters and life gain. Wormlets uh, being taken care of here. They draw as well as connive. Nice. It's a big hit. For 4 minimum. We need a juicy top deck. Just more one ones. Keep the land in hand to bluff. Fourteen life, and they are a super explosive deck. Two cards in hand. Potentially a double connive. They tap out with a plotted show off. Down to 10. They have three blockers. We hit for five, six, seven. I don't know if the one additional blocker makes that much of a difference, so I think the damage is okay to take. That is worth thought, though, right? It's definitely worth considering. What do you do, right? I think it's like kind of a toss-up. So this is going to be our two extra damage, which should result in lethal. Just before anything dies. Right, they have three blocks. So they block these two and one. We have four, five, six. Where did I get uh, seven, eight? Down to one. Oh, down to two. This only does one. I thought it did two. Math is hard. So I still... I think they're going to get the win here because we can't block the flyers. They're tapped out. The um, plot is stuck to sorcery speed. We should have pushed in damage a little earlier, I think. Down to two. Unfortunately, this isn't the spell we need it to be. Continue to hold it in hand. And a close game. I do think we die here, right? Uh, these prowess triggers are going to be brutal. I think they could even just blank cast Galvanic Iteration for the win. Yeah. Yeah. Just try to get that uh, connive draw. Any spell will do. Any spell will do. And we're getting hits for uh, a literal ton. We put all blockers in front of the Swift Spear. And it's still going to be 9, 10. Good game. Really close match. That's fantastic. The Flyers um, get through, right? And it's the slick, sh slick shot show-off. 
that's able to uh, to get through there. Going first, keeping seven. Land is nice. I heard a rumor Mr. Malone stole a deck from uh, another creator and claimed it as his own. I don't know, though. Word on the street. I don't pay enough attention, so I don't know. Just first thing that came to mind. Mono black is the second thing that comes to mind here. I don't like that. Um, that entered the battlefield this turn, so it's got to be this first. We could also just make tokens, right? We do it, don't we? I got juice! Tiny bones in the house. What's that card do? We could make an army of three threes. That would be really good, but... What if they remove it? Oh, that's good too, though. Shoot. <laughs> I mean, I'll do it. I'm not scared. <laughs> oh, no, 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 wrong button. Cancel. I should have done this first. I just make the decks. I don't play them. I'm coming over! I think we could have played Bondrek earlier there. I don't know. Did I do good? Are you make me sacrifice all my stuff? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. That was a misclick. Ah. Uh. I wanted to keep the trample. I hate that. My bad. My bad. Mm. 
That was a misclick. Playing decks for the first time is always wacky. I don't think it matters, though. I think it's just a free win here. Whoa. They could have removal in hand, too, though, right? They indeed have something. I want to see the blocks first. Okay, indestructible's out. We trade with Gix, which is really good. Might should get us through. I can't believe I missed Sacrifice. I was going to keep the Trample and go in with Trample damage on the larger attackers. And, uh... God bless Arena. And, and myself. It's pretty nervous. You guys understand how these things are. New deck, plus nerves. And, you know, multiply by HGG's comprehension level. It's a decimal. Okay, so the life gain there is really good. That's going to hold them in the game. Plus they get a blocker. Oh, I hate this, trust me. Yeah, we uh we definitely misplayed there. That's all right. Down to 1, drawing 3. That's pretty good. 4 land. Then up to 7 after the attack. Questionable. They need removal in hand or other blockers, which I assume they have. Nice removal. Unfortunately, we are uh, flooding, which is 
But the last thing we want to happen in this situation... Playing shoulder. That's an original card in the set, right? That's okay. Mill of lands. Would that have been their third or fourth land in a row? Up by eight to nine. I think this match is probably over. Good game. No, it's a great match. Uh, I unfortunately made a misclick midway that cost us that game. But at the end of the day, I'm really excited just to see new cards. Oh my gosh. Have you ever had a yellow ham? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm Hello GG's today as well. You may notice. Playing very slow. Rakdos o'clock. I think it can survive. Removal, Mardu. Mar, don't you dare play a creature. Harvester's good. Lord decline the first one. That is an artifact, which is nice. I really should be playing that Might first to protect the Matter Weaver, but damn. I know, let's just try it. The Harvester takes one, removal from hand takes the other. And I cry. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. They cycling? Wow, okay. And Atraxa. Oh my god. Brutal. Brutal, dude. I mean the art this would be good against them, I guess. Okay, that's new. So the way we're doing this is kind of weird, but it has to be so. Hit for 2 to 14. Please don't have a field wipe. They definitely do. One field wipe, please. Best case scenario, single target on Matter Weaver. Plot. And what is being plotted here? Highway robbery. You may discard a land or sacrifice a land if you do draw two cards. Pyre on the Salvager. Nice. Tapped out. Hit for two.
I'll allow it. Let's swing in for five, six, seven, eight. We trade. Please don't field wipe. <laughs> okay, this is literally free on the turn. Plot's kind of cool. Fifth land. There it is. Attracts it in play. Oh my gosh, it's a 9-9. Nine, nine. Hilarious. Ooh! So that's game. I don't see us getting out of this at all. Atraxa wins any game for the last seven months now. I don't have anything that would win this match because this needs to tap. And we're not able to do that. We'd have to do 15 damage. And they're blocking three. Right? So I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven with the scavenger. And their vigilance wins. I have to look for removal. Nope. This is an additional haste attack, though. Is that enough? Three, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> very, very close, right? Very close. They almost uh, misjudged the math there. <laughs> they almost misjudged the math. But unfortunately not. No dice, homie. No shot. Good game. Do you mind if I scoop? No good game in return? I don't want to scoop early, but... That's game, right? I thought I'd get a good game in response and I could leave. Let him finish. I mean, it's an Atraxa. It's not that I'm leaving early, prematurely. The game's over. The game's been over. This is when a regular person leaves the match. What do you mean? He's a 9-9 nine, nine that I am unable to remove. And now we're just sitting here.
something something win more all right so i think the plunderer can save this which is good news for us Man, that uh, fast line's really slowing us up. Oh, no way. Okay. They're going to remove it, which I don't like. What do you do, though? You got to get that mite out there. If they remove it, they remove it. No block. Oh, and it just... What? My game client just crashed. Ninjutsu is too strong. They did have removal. Okay, let's get our wilds out, and then we can sandstorm. Maybe. More ninjutsu? Who built a ninjutsu deck in early access after office? That's what? Is that why they're running ninjutsu? Because it crashes the game client every time? Whoa. Ninjutsu, undefeated. <laughs> That's wild, isn't it? I can't even protect. Or, like, that's crazy. I guess it had summoning sickness that last turn. But either way, it's still a bit of a pain. And, like, they must be frustrated. I doubt they're doing it on purpose. But I think it is a thing. If they kick us out a third time with ninjutsu, that's a thing. Three out of three, that's wild. Game client crashing in three, two. Wow. So that's cool. You could play Atraxa, get auto wins. You could play Ninjutsu, get auto wins. Hmm. I don't even know what's happening because I'm busy logging into the game client. I honestly don't know what's happening in this match.
Not a clue, mate. At least we have blockers now. <laughs> At least we could block. So it probably doesn't trigger as easy. All right. Maybe it crashed their game too. Hmm. Well, you know they're here. Rafine active. Tiny bones a mill. No, I gotta block everything. Can I have Adelphia? Oh, they tossed a cut down. That's terrible. Which means they're going to cut down the salvager. Because they have another. Sucks. It is what it is though. Yep. Mine are back. They don't have the mana for it though. I don't have protection here. Okay. I mean, that lessens the connive. It's actually probably worth it. No reach, no block. Down to ten. Here's shield red. Or removal. Removal might be better. They would have played Shielder first if they had it. If they didn't just draw it with the connive. Just a bounce. That's okay. And it's a crime. Can't channel either. You can't channel either. Wow. That's the fourth time I've been kicked out of the match. From a card based ability. Huh. So that's unfortunate. I'm going to have to make a post about it. I don't even know if I have any more timeouts left, you know? I like how her knife has spurs on it. Okay, it is indeed my turn. This is good. I'm out of timeouts. I do not uh, have any left. All right, can I have Adelphia? I'm stuck on three lands as well. Oh, that's cool. The Infiltrator. Let's throw out a block, I guess. Down to seven.
Specialist out. Bring something back. The infiltrator, nice. Oh, I would emote, but it's broken. Miners in play from the crime of the infiltrator. Pretty cool. <sighs> Be a lot cooler if the game didn't crash 15 times and I had an idea as to what was going on and could have spent some time actually maneuvering through this process. Still no land, eh? That sucks. We could make tokens, but I don't think that's going to get us very far. We could copy ourselves. And then copy copies of that. Which wouldn't be bad, but it'd be much better with the Weaver. But we're so, we're dead, right? So I think we need life gain. Which is unfortunate, but... It is what it is. Just make a bunch of 3-3s, three gain some life with uh, Wormlet. Now we can Assault. This can tap to make a copy of itself, can't it? As well. Okay, here's a Crime. They channeled and we didn't crash. That's weird. That's weird. Oh, maybe I don't get a chance to do that. I should have been able to. Okay. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. We definitely should have been able to make another copy. That's weird. Because that one had haste. So why couldn't it tap with this? Oh, because it itself was a token. And this is non-token creatures. Never mind. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Mm. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Gal has got to go. Or does it? They probably just have a secondary discard. They have so much life as well, which is aggressive. Leave good blocks. Oh, I'll double block that. They want the knife though, right? And then they get to trade with one. And conniving's good too. Maybe I should have kept Gala. It's only two a turn though, which is probably not enough. Two cards in hand still. Not bad. We're down to 10 life, which is not great. And this costs two, which isn't terrible. But we need life gain, or we're dead, right? We're probably just dead anyways. They're going to hit for, you know, six or more next turn. Removal here. People are playing hardcore today. Like, I'm just here to have some fun. And, uh, yeah, we're out here crashing games on the regular. You know, build my whole deck around crashing your game client. That's the fifth time.
you know, a, f a great experience for myself. I've been having a lot of fun this match. <laughs> and they're probably like, why are they roping me? I assure you, this is not my intention. How did I not get a land? Right? I mean, we're just dead. 4, 8, 12, 16, 17, 18. It can't block. Close. But Rafine, one of those new cards of the set, is going to win the game. This is a weird deck. Like, what a strange version of Esper Legends. Like, I've never seen them run ninjutsu. What is that ninjutsu even for? Good game. Close match. We're getting really close. Uh, just, you know, some things not turning our way. The land here was brutal. All right. Let's rip it. I don't know why I'm always getting slow lands. It's a little bit frustrating. I have a deck filled with fast lands. Howdy, partner. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Hey, that's pretty cool. All right. Make some treasures, right? Mmm. It's a good card. Allie loves to go big with the mana. the treasure's that important for me right now. Make your own luck. Look at the top three. XLA non-land from among them. Plot it. Rest into hand. That's pretty cool. And they're plotting another copy of it. They can't cast it this turn. They have to wait till next. Second land in play. One extra. Aim for five, six, seven. Okay, might can protect us. Actually. Yeah. I'm gonna keep get lost in hand. I assume they have another. 
and then we'll just take that one. Look at the top three, exile a non-land and plot it. The tyrant, nice. Okay, I like that. That's pretty cool. So is there a Gwenna, Eyes of Gaia here? Hmm. Hmm. Because of the treasure we gave them. What in the tarnation? I know! How many? How many? The only one that matters. The only one that matters! <laughs> oh, now that's good comedy. What else is in this hand? Oh. That sunfall triggering after doesn't, like... This is all kind of irrelevant. I mean, it escapes exile. It goes to the grave. That's good, I guess. That sunfall dominates me, though. That's smart. Smart. Okay, this is still a match somehow. <laughs> Heck yeah, it is! Let's go. No, are you kidding me? You see what they applauded, bro? It's good. Really kill it. Well, that's kind of weird too, though, isn't it? Oh. I gotta take it. There's gonna be more card draw, more life gain. Copy of itself is terrible, too. Right. We, it has got summoning sickness now, though. Um, I think actually maybe it did before, too. They're going wild. Can't do it. I think uh, that Sunfall wins the game. Pesky, pesky Sunfall. Now we'll just let them cycle their whole deck. I should have let them have it and just taken lethal because this is going to take too long. Ah! The pain! Yeah. Yeah. This is so over the top, it's not even funny. There it is, Atraxa. The card in everyone's deck today. Why wouldn't you showcase Atraxa on early access event? I'm <laughs> just kidding. You're gonna get it. You can't expect to have Atraxa in your deck and not get it. I know your decks are filled with other new cards, but you're still playing Atraxa. Bully. Sha. Yeah. Do 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 I do get bored though, just sitting here waiting. Like I would have scooped up typically ages ago. That first Galta. Give my good game. And hopefully they just hit for lethal. I will not be blocking. Cheers. Now that's how it's done. You get the good game. You give a good game and then you hit for lethal. That's so much better than just like, you know, the alternative to that. All right. 
rematch against Philippa. She is going first. Same deck. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Um, I need this out right away. All right, get lost takes tiny after combat. No protection. <laughs> Hopefully they don't remove. I'm assuming there's removal here. Please, Lord, no, have mercy. Okay. There's no attack. This isn't terrible. Looking for a molten exploit. What's a molten something? Duplication, maybe? Oh, that's such a good card. So good. Grabbing some land. Surveilling. I like the smuggler spree. Oh. Oh. We're doing it. Oh my god. Becky? I think I did these wrong. I did one of them wrong. Oh no, because it made two of them. That's correct. I always think it's three for some reason. It's only two sacrifices though. We have seven Matter Weavers begging for a field wipe. <laughs> Literally begging for a field wipe. I have no protection. We have an indestructible block on the Death Touch. Not an easy position to be in. A Gix's command would be brutal. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of my value, bro. <laughs> Let's take our hit. Down to two. That's a lot of creatures to kill with three mana. Holy. This is a big boy. And for Lethal, we have another Matter Weaver, which is really cool to play, but there's no need. There's no need. We've gone far enough. Take Lethal. Thank you so much for the game, Philippa. Appreciate you. All right, Naya Artifacts, pretty cool. It pops, like, uh, no doubt about it. 
Is it a perfect deck? Probably not. This is day one. I literally just came up with this. Uh, is it expensive? Oh my gosh. Woo! This is the premier deck in Arena. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these mythics. Even Mondrak and the Wilds are mythic. And then, you know, the rest are just rare. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Voltage Surge is our only non-rare uh, or mythic card in the deck. Uh, ah! It's brutal. Like, this is not a cheap deck. And that's a big reason as to why I'm showcasing it here for you today. Uh, a very cool archetype that's very strong, but very expensive. So you can't just try it out on a whim, right? It's going to drain your collection. Now, if you can get it willy-nilly kudos congratulations enjoy i know i myself will be working to build this deck once all of those cards come out and you know i actually do have to complete my own set um and this is just the goal right and you know not only that but i do think that we could probably as a community improve the deck as well seven removal maybe a little bit more removal um you know there was some attractions giving me me troubles today uh, we, of course, do have the removal within Get Lost. Couldn't find it, though. Uh, th these are how uh, those things go. Um, you know, maybe potentially some draw in the deck as well. The Vault is cool, but that's, like, not consistent draw. Um, just some draw would be really, really nice in the deck uh, to spring us forward. Because, you know, we also seen when we got hit with a Sunfall. And your top decking midrange deck now, good luck. You need two, three creatures to work together with some spells, <laughs> not not one off the top. Uh, that simply will not do. So, you know, something to help us replenish after a worst case scenario, I think would be fantastic. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a magical day. Again, this is the early access event. Thank you, wizards. Thank you, fellow creators and competitors. Uh, for all of you at home, playable in arena on the 16th, tabletop legal in standard on the 19th, okay? Uh, I guess in other formats, not just standard as well as, you know. But uh, cheers, peace out, and have a magical day. I'll see you soon in the next.